Well, as you can see, uh, we've done very well in the last quarter. This is a exponential triple digit growth. That reflects the true business as uh, JP Ong was saying just now, uh, when you do a year to year comparison, you have forgotten that last year we took into account the sale of Electronet, which brought a billion. So you take the extraordinary uh, uh, profits out this will be a, quite a sensational result. And that's a reflection of microcosm of going forward. We feel that the business conditions all around in all our infrastructure businesses have improved tremendously. Right, uh, Frank, Mr. Yeo, this is uh, JP Ong. So you are coming off of that high base in the fiscal third quarter of 2022. Yeah. But when you look at this particular set of results, um, what's also impressive is that you saw profits after tax Oh, almost more than tripling, actually, to 659.4 million ringgit. But revenues only growing, and I say only because 11 percent is still pretty good. Only growing by 11 percent in comparison. What that's telling me, at least, or from uh, uh, from first glance, is that the profit growth and the, and the profit impression, at least, came from some other parts of the business. Where did where did YTL Corporation focus their efforts to turn in that profits? Because it doesn't seem to be coming so much from sales. It seems to be coming from other places. Can you enlighten us as to where else YTL yeah. actually tightened things up to actually result? bring that strong profit that we saw just now? Yeah, it's because of the uh, lower cost of materials, like in cement, for example. The cement prices, the cost of raw materials have gone down by more than half, for example. So that, that has brought in a lot of profits. And of course, if you see uh, also just now, as you put up in the chart of our hotel, although it's not making us profit, it's a triple-digit improvement in the sense we had a loss last year but now we are making profits. So it's quite a sensational turnaround because of the tourist uh, uptake and uh, occupancy rates. So these non-cyclical businesses have, have come in and, and boost a lot of earnings. And also uh, Saraya, our YTL Saraya Power in Singapore has also uh, uh, boost uh, very strong earnings and, and profits uh, because of its uh, stronger, uh, higher price uh, of electricity in Singapore. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.